everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos so first and foremost let me give you guys a quick update i just want to thank you so much for taking the time to log on to heavenandlimes.com and take a look at my candles i hope that you enjoy the candles i hope that you like what you see um i just wanted to also um, bring up the fact that I did like in the first um, week of my launch I um, shipped out some candles she always does that every time that I film but when I um, initially when I shipped out the first set of candles um, some of my customers got some but one of my customers um, she she reached out and let me know that the candles arrived damaged um the glass was severely shattered and i was very very hurt by that i literally when i got the email and i saw the pictures i started crying um you know just because i just have a sentimental attachment to my candles um so i started crying i felt really bad and i went to go to the post office um you know i did go to the post office and with my husband and they told my husband, you know, oh well, it happens. I was so upset when they said that. I literally had to just leave and walk away because I was just gonna be so unprofessional. Um, and so I just composed myself. I sent a email and a text message back to the customer and assured her that I was gonna, you know, fix it. Um, I just felt so bad. I went the next day to the post office angry. I was like a raging bull. I was gonna like attack, you know, uh, verbally. And what I did was instead I prayed. I, you know, prayed to the Lord and asked him to please, you know, give me the wisdom that I needed to speak to these, you know, um, workers, you know, in a way that I was going to have them, you know, think uh, and hopefully be a bit more um, sensitive to the items that I was shipping not just my stuff but everybody's stuff so that's what i did i went to the post office i spoke to management i let them know what happened i showed the photos and they were very apologetic um and they assured me that they were going to do the best that they could to um reiterate to the um employees there you know not to speak to customers that way um and hopefully you know it won't happen again so um, that was that, you know, I did uh, reach back out to the customer and I shipped out the candles and I hope that um, they were received, um, you know, in mint condition. So that was my little adventure for my first week of launch. And then besides that, we did pretty well. We made a few sales. Um, we didn't sell out, obviously, but we did a couple of sales and I am so grateful. Even if I had one sale, to me, it's just a blessing to have somebody just log on and type in heavenlives.com and look at the website. That's such a blessing to me. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for, uh, for tuning into that and checking it out, telling your friends and things of that nature. So anyway, um, if you guys have noticed behind me, I have this Digiboil that I purchased not too long ago. I spoke about it in my other videos and it is here. I um, customized the sleeve on my own with my Cricut and my iron-on. Um, I used to make shirts and embroider and things like, like that. Um, and I have some videos on my channel that show you exactly how I create these type of designs with the Cricut and with the iron-on and how I, you know, do the heat press and all of that. So if you guys want to scroll through those older videos, the embroidery ones, it shows you how I did that so you guys could go ahead. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna quickly um, do this introduction and then, cause my eyes are so bad, like I need new glasses. I'm having trouble seeing, everything looks really fuzzy to me right now. So I don't wanna stay in front of the camera with the light in my face for too long. Um, but I'm gonna show um, some clips in this video of how I designed the sleeve with my company name, heavenalimes.com. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of an unboxing and I hope you guys enjoy. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Digiboil that I just got yesterday. Um, and let's see. Let's 
see if it's everything that I was hoping it would be. So I heard that it has a really humongous, um, um, I don't know what you call the part that you plug in, but it's big, like the ones that you use for the dryers. And, okay, wait, the first thing that I noticed here, nice. So he provided for us. So the other Digiboyo didn't have, um, or didn't come with a little booklet like this one. So that I like very much. Very good. It has operation, it has cold, it has a power switch, technical specifications. I love this so much. Operation display buttons. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so that looks like a little like a spout where the wax would come out of. Okay, nice. And then this looks like the top. So let's take it out of the little bag there so you can look at it completely. Okay, that's nice. No scratches. Well packaged. Very good. And then you have the handle right there. So I'll attach that. Nice. And UPS did come and pick up the other Digiboil, so that's great. So we have this on the floor. We're unboxing on the floor because it's pretty tall, so. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. The camera's a little shaky because I'm standing on the couch. Yeah, that's better. It's pretty light. Notice how he's just lifting it up with one hand. That's it. That's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Oh, let's look at the cord. Oh, look at the cord. It's not like the other one. Oh my goodness, yes. Now I could just plug it into a regular power serger. Oh, the other one that I got was like a dryer one and I didn't know where I was gonna put it. So this is amazing. I'm so happy. That's the surprise he was talking about. Yes, thank you, Cake Factory. I love it so much. I purchased this on my own. This video is not sponsored by the Cake Factory, but I am thanking them because of their wonderful customer service. Can't really see anything. So dark. All right, so we just took a pair of pliers, and my husband just took that um, nut that's there, and he just—I don't know how well you guys can see that—but he just went ahead and just tightened that 
nut right onto that um, piece for the valve that's right there in the front. So pretty quick and pretty simple. I just want to show you that real quick. So this Digiboil holds eight gallons um, or 30 liters. So that's, that's a lot. I just put all my wax in here and just when I'm gonna do like a massive production, I could just do it pretty quick. So that's amazing. All right, so here I am in Canva, and all I'm going to do is um, start off on a fresh canvas. This is from a label that I was making for one of my candles. I just typed in um, create new label, and then I typed in the dimensions of three by 1.4 inches, and then I got this. So all I'm doing here is just typing in the name of my company and i'm gonna play around with the words the text the font a little bit move them around to my liking and then after that i'm gonna just place it and then i'm gonna download it and send it to my cricut where i'm gonna go ahead and cut on cricut um and then um after i cut on cricut i'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the mat with the iron on with the shiny side facing down and then iron it on right to the sleeve All right, so here I'm in Cricut. I'm just gonna open up a new project and I'm gonna upload uh, my design that I saved from Canva. I just simply download it on PNG Suggested and I saved it to my photos. Um, then I just went on to Cricut. I opened up Cricut um, and I'm just gonna search for that photo in my recents and it should pop up in a few minutes. I think I see it. it's right there. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna open it up. After I open it, I'm just gonna go ahead and press complex continue, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just enlarge this image. Um, I'm gonna go back real quick because I, I forgot that I wasn't going to uh, print and then cut. Um, I'm gonna upload it again. I have to do it twice because I'm so used to making the labels. I haven't done this in a while. Um, but I'm gonna go back, find the photo, open it up, and then I'm gonna press complex, and then I'm gonna continue, and I'm gonna enlarge this image really big so that I can see it. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna, you know, right click on the back part of the image and then I'm gonna go into every part of the lettering wherever there's white and I'm just gonna, you know, click on it and shade it out so that way when the machine cuts, it'll know exactly where to cut and it'll know that I just wanna cut the words out, that's it. So I'm just gonna continue to do that until there's no more white spaces left. So here I'm just going to highlight the cut image and then I'm just going to change the name of my design so that way when I need it for the next time, I can just go ahead and find it. So I just typed in company name. And then here I'm just going to measure out the size of the image of how I want it to be. So all I did here was um, unroll the iron on and shiny side facing up. I just went ahead and cut it and I stuck it right onto my um, my sticky mat. And then now what I'm gonna do is um, put it into the Cricut and cut out the image that we just made. So this is what I'm using to uh, create the iron on for my, um, for my Digiboil um, heat protector, black Velcro thingy, whatever it is. Um, but I'm using this Cricut Everyday Iron-On. I got this from Michaels. Um, and I'm going to use this to um, create my design and iron it right on. So I just want to show you what it looks like in case that you're looking for it as well. So this one is in white. You see it's white. So it's 12 inches by 24 inches. All right, so here is Ina. Apparently she wants to be on YouTube. She wants to say hello to everybody. She was making all that noise every time I film. I swear, I think she has this thing for the camera. Don't leave me here. Say hello. Say hello. Hola. 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 Hola, sí. Hi, mommy. Hola. Hola, baby. Hola. She's five months old and she's still not speaking. She says nothing, actually. She makes noise. She doesn't speak. We sit down and we talk to her, but she's not. She's probably still shy. Are you still shy? Hmm? Hi. Hi. I love you. Oh. She does that. She says, aw. Aw. See her look. Aw. Aw. I love you. Say bye. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Imagine she says, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> That'll be funny. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, so I had to change my shirt because Ina was on my shoulder and she pooped on me, so I had to change my shirt. But I wanted to quickly um, answer a question that I've been getting a lot. Um, so people want to know, you know, what the heck is a digiboil? Like, what is that? That is used specifically to brew or make beer. Um, so that's what that is. So all I did, like, you know, everybody else does, is I have my phone right here. So um, all I did was Google, you know, what is a digiboil? And I'll just read it to you. 
So the Dishi Boyo is a versatile electric kettle that can be used as a standalone unit or integrated into your current brew system um, to serve a variety of functions. Easily brew five gallon extract batches. Use it to preheat your strike water or sparge water to a precise temperature. Pair it with a pump and heat exchanger to use it for Herms Brewing. So it's a beer um, brewing system. So um, I don't know about beer or anything like that, but that's what that's for. So you can also use it safely to warm up your wax. So as time goes by, and I actually get to use it because I haven't plugged it in to even test to see if it works. Um, um, so when I do all of that, um, I'll, you know, take you guys along and we can, you know, watch and learn together. But for the meantime, it's pretty simple. It has a little dial button on the side there. You turn it on. One is for the temperature and the other one is to, uh, is a switch, like an on and off switch. Um, and then it just warms up the wax just like a Presto Pot would, but it's just bigger. Um, that's all. So, um, then there's two versions. There's a version that has a lot of power wattage where um the piece that you plug into the wall is huge like the dryer um what do you call those the, the dryer uh what do you call that surgery it's not a surgery it's the part that you plug into the wall well um the other digiboyo has that humongous piece whereas that's the one that i ordered originally without even noticing i thought that's how they came um but when they sent me the replacement which was this one I was so surprised and happy to see that I was able to plug this into a regular surgery. So that was a bonus. So just a tip, if you guys are shopping for your Digiboil, make sure that you check out the uh, part that you plug into the wall and make sure that it's suitable for your specific location and things of that nature. So that was just a quick little um, disclaimer on that part right there. So yeah, I just wanted to share that information with you. So